Hello and welcome to Type 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss an important topic which is fabric license. There are few things which you need to understand first. Then only I recommend you to go with the licensing of fabric. So without wasting any time, let's dig into that. But before to that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed it, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. All right, so this is basically the watch this before fabric license purchase. So basically, there are few things which you need to consider. But first of all, what are the types of license where you can get the fabric functionalities, fabric features? I mean, so the one way is fabric uh, Power BI Premium. If you have a Power BI Premium license, which is premium capacity, I think it's not just premium per user. It's premium capacity license. If you have any of this probably premium capacity license, then you can able to get that fabric features. So which is basically at least P1 should be there. P1, P2, P3 and P4 kind of thing. Or else if you are a new company and you want to buy the license, there are two ways where you can do that, which is fabric pay as you go feature, which is PAYG and fabric reserve instant feature. So fabric pay as you go means how much you are going to consume the capacity that you are going to use that uh, bill for you. But reserve instant is basically similar to premium, which is you need to pay fixed amount of cost every month so that they can reserve you that instance or the capacity for you. So that is fabric reserve instance. But not only that, there are other important topics as well. So we will also cover everything in detail which is fabric capacity. So how much capacity we want to go in power BI premium? We have like P1, P2, P3 kind of thing, right? So similarly, we have in fabric F2, F4, F8, F16 kind of thing. F64 it goes up to 128. So and also we need to consider about one leg storage. So power BI premium basically comes with the default storage of. I will show you the details after the slide, whereas Fabric doesn't come with the storage. We need to buy additional storage for our all our artifacts. And also we need to consider the region because fabric price slightly vary depending on the region where you are. So we'll also go through that now. So let me go directly to website of Power BI. And you can see this is the Power BI website where you can see this pricing of Power BI. So free is Power BI with fabric free account. So you can't able to share with other people. You can use it for your personal purpose. And we have a Power BI Pro as usual. This is basically the US dollar I'm showing up here. And this is Power BI Premium per user, which is $20 per user per month. But if you have a Power BI, I mean Office 365 E5 license, then you can get the Power BI Pro by default. But if you need a Power BI Premium per user, then you need to pay additional 10 US dollar for that. Here comes the fabric, which is fabric power BI premium per capacity SKU per month is P1 SKU. So like I said initially, so P1 is also considered the power BI F64 license. So you are going to get this by this amount of dollar 4995 per month. And here we have a fabric capacity reserve instance, so which is also similar to 5000 US dollar per month and which is equivalent to P1, which is equal to F64 capacity. And another which we have it here is pay as you go, which is 8409.60, which is F64 as well, but this is also equivalent to P1. Now you may think about reserve is 5000, but pay as you go is 8400. So why should I have to go with 8400? I can go with 5000 itself, right? But here is the important thing here. If you compare these two things, let me zoom this here. So these are the things which is common here. License organization. So small entry compared to starting at F2 and Azure consumption commitment eligible and gain access to full Microsoft fabric workload through unified product experience and capacity. And here enjoy pay as you go pricing, which you can scale up and down dynamically and even pause with no usage commitment. So for example, if you are starting up right now and you don't need a much higher capacity, then you can slow down this fabric capacity 
And also you can cost few of the resources here, like you don't need to go use the Spark engine, then you can stop that. So similarly, you can also start and pause the features of Fabric. So this can go up to 8,400 or more, or it can even go to 3,000 or 2,000 when you are starting up your journey with Fabric. So this is also one of the options which they are given to you. So you can customize based on your need. And also, if you go further down, we have this feature comparison here whatever the things which you are going to get here and here you can see everything is similar as usual as before but only thing with this change here is in the right side power bi premium per capacity includes microsoft fabric so this are the things which is going to cover in fabric that's what you will think of but there is a checkpoint here and here you see model size limit is 400 gb here you can see maximum storage power bi native storage is 100 terabyte. So now you may think about I have 100 terabyte to can use with fabric. But if you see there is a small number here which is 8. And if you go down to that one for storing Power BI data sets only. So this 100 terabyte what they are giving up for the Power BI premium and we can also use for the fabric capacity is actually only for the Power BI data sets. If you are using like data warehouse or any kind of pipeline activity or lake house storage then you need to buy a separate storage cost for that. And where you can buy that, you can go to Azure Data Lake Storage to buy those things. So now let's go to the fabric and then have a look into Azure pricing for that, which is pay as you go option. So right now I'm into this fabric pricing, which is on Azure. And here I filtered to be central US, which is US dollar here. I am filtered by month here. And these are the pricing which I have. Like I said, we start from F2, F4, F5, F16. And it goes till 2048. Whereas for the premium, we have P1, P2, P3, P4, and P5. And you can see the comparison here. This F64 is similar to what we have it on Power BI. F64 is similar to what we have it on Power BI P1, which is 5000 US dollar. And you can see they have a two different columns here, which is pay as you go, and the, as well as the reservation capacity. And it is also saying that if you are going for reservation capacity, then you are going to save 41% of this one. So it depends on your requirement. Whatever you want, you can choose that. And if you go further down, here it gives a one leg storage, a single place to store all data. So there are three types of storage which you want to buy, which is one leg storage per month, which cost around like 0 0.023 per GB. Based on your capacity, you can buy that. And also this is BCDR, which is business continuity disaster recovery storage per month is this much cost and we have one leg cash per month. So what is the use of one leg cash is basically here it defined one leg cash is built for KQL cash storage and data activator data retain thing. So this is the two links which is really necessary for you to understand based on your requirement. And now if we go to this one, uh, let me take the this one reference here 8409 and this is 5002 and if I change to a different region here let's say for example if I take it for Germany and you can see this is actually going around here even though this is on US dollar I am showing up the currency but the price it changed to 7700 instead of 5000. Now if I change it back to India now and it goes around 6000 100 actually it has to be 5000 in that case right so it is changing the price based on your region that's what i mentioned on my slide so we need to check the capacity as well as the one leg storage and the third is the region so three things which you need to consider while purchasing fabric license i hope this video give you a detailed brief introduction about what are the things which you need to consider for buying fabric license for buying fabric license to your company. If this video makes you helpful, please share this video with others as well so that they can also aware of what are the things they need to consider before buying this fabric license. If you like this video, just hit the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure to turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.